All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night, everybody. Uh, depending on where you are and when you're watching, I wanted to make a quick little video today. Um, as you may have seen, I just recently did one really long video where I uh, leveled all the way from one to fifty, and I was muted the whole time. And because of that, the video kind of sucks. But um, the point being is, I just recently got. Uh, a new character and alt for me uh, to level 50 and I wanted to make a video going over kind of what to do right when you hit level 50 um, because I think for a lot of people you know you're just starting out um, you just maybe made your first character this would be more of like a beginner's guide um, but you just made your first character you just got to level 50 you're like, oh wow, now there's the end game. What do I do? Uh, and the first thing that I wanna talk about, hopefully you've already done this, but it would be, you should probably get a guild. If um, you haven't done this already, that's pretty unfortunate because you get an experience boost for the whole time that you um, are part of a guild. So you would have gotten experience boost up to um, your level 50. This is just a random guild I joined, uh, literally just because I wanted the experience boost. And I think there's like a, a health and mana boost as well. So first thing you want to do is join a guild. Uh, there are tons of benefits to joining a guild. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but uh, there's lots of stuff. And I guess I could make a video on that in the future if you wish. So... You now have a guild, and what do you do next? Uh, so for me, the next thing was, I'm gonna go to a guide. I, I don't know, just, just pick a guide, whatever guide. Um, whatever you wanna follow, or do this on your own if you want. I'm just dumb, and I just listen to people who know the game better than me. And you wanna go through, and you wanna map your skills, or stats, sorry. Uh, you want to redo your stats for your new level. You're going to be kind of changing from uh, campaign story missions to probably doing dungeons and um, other endgame content. So you definitely want to make a change to your stats as well. Uh, like I said, I would highly recommend you follow some sort of guide um, that really knows your specific class or whatever here. I'm playing, I forget exactly what it's called, but Greatsword Dagger. Uh, my main is a Liberator Staff Longbow build. Um, so look for whatever guide that you want to use and look for the stats that you need. With the stats, I would also say you now need to make a choice about, and I haven't done this yet, as you can probably tell if you are a Greatsword Dagger build, but you need to make a choice on what uh, skills you're going to use both passive and um, passive and active as well as you need to do your skill specialization um, you're going to have to basically redo everything to kind of fit the new mold that you're going to be doing going forward and again I would highly recommend you go find a guide online um, I don't have one I'm, I'm not very smart in that regard but um there are tons and tons of guides out there. Just go look for one that uh, fits your class and you should be all right. Um, so after that, you so you have your skills done, you have your um, skill specializations done, uh, you've joined a guild. Uh, the next thing I would recommend is that you should probably try and get yourself up to 1600 uh, gear score or combat power. Um, the easiest way to do this, uh, you're going to get gear from along your questing journey. Uh, and as well, once you complete your, uh, the final quest, you will get, if I figured out how to go into my inventory, a ton of growth stones, armor growth stones, weapon growth stones, uh, accessory growth stones. You will get a ton of those. Um, and you can use those to pump up the, the armor that you got from the quest line. Uh, it's also important to note if this is your alt, 
uh, Lucent transfers over. I don't have much Lucent, but Lucent transfers over. So if you see something that's cheap, for example, um, da, da, da. Necklace of Clarity was something I grabbed on the auction house, and it was like 10 Lucent, I think. Necklace of Clarity. Okay. Yeah, 15 Lucent. 15 Lucent, uh, just to get yourself up to this 1600 and the reason you want 1600 is so you can go run dungeons um i also transferred in all the green gear i was using throughout the story into these blues uh these blues i acquired through either lithographing um and there's a trick i'll show you with regards to a cape um or um um, or I acquired it through the story, uh, crafting it, or the auction house for very, very cheap. Don't spend a lot of Lucent. Like, you can get the... I think these were like... Um, this was like 10 Lucent. This was like 10 Lucent. Uh, do not spend a lot of money. I crafted this. This was from the story. Um, story, story, story. Uh, lithograph this, which I'll show you. Uh, story, 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 I believe. Um, so yeah, and now I haven't even dialed in my active skills yet, and I'm already at 1600 combat power. I can already enter dungeons. I haven't done anything endgame yet, and I can already enter dungeons. Like, you'll see I haven't even completed this stuff yet. Um, I just literally just hit this to 50, logged out, logged back in, and did a little bit of gear last night before bed. That's it. Um, so since we're at it, why don't I show you the little cloak trick that another video that I watched told me, uh, and I think it's actually pretty nice to pass it on to you. Excuse me. So I think you can go to any vendor. I, honestly, I'm like, I don't know why I came here. It literally has nothing to do with anything. But um, if you go up to the vendor person here, the uh, armor crafter, you can go to any armor crafter, I believe. I make high quality armor. There is, uh, if you go to your cloaks, there are is a cloak of battle, a mantle of casting, shroud of striking, and a cloak of accuracy. And a very, very cheap, easy way to get a blue cloak is if you go to the lithograph book. Um, I've already got it completed, and I don't actually know. Oh, right here. Uh, I kind of assumed it'd be at the bottom. If you just craft those four, those four cloaks, which are super cheap, super easy to craft, you can put those in the lithograph book and get a blue cloak in addition to some Stalinor, I guess. Uh, but the important thing is the blue cloak. Same with uh, Violent Signet. You can craft four. I'll just show you since I'm right here. It seems there are some. Uh, you can craft these four green rings, and you can get a. Uh, where's the lithograph book? You can get a Violent Signet as well, which is a really good ring that can carry you basically to mid game. So two super easy things that you can do uh, to get gear off rip. And then, like I said, you can, oh, um, and speaking of accessories crafter, another thing you can do is any of these belts, you can grab these, you can pump them up to max and potentially get them traits. That is a, I just popped the pot on accident, another great source of gear. I'm gonna use this for a while. Um, basically, you just want to, as cheaply as possible, get yourself up to 1600 combat power. Um, Goodbye. So now you've got your skills, you've got your gear, uh, you've joined a guild. So from here, I would say there's a couple things you want to do. You want to do the secret dungeon. You can do all these different ones, and look, you can see right here, tons and tons and tons of different 
uh, gear and XP. Uh, tons and tons of it. I didn't do these through my leveling guide, uh, the guide that I followed to level, but you could have, um, I think the last 10 are the ones that are all level 50. So the last 10 are a bit harder. I would recommend you get a little bit better gear aside from the bare minimum 1600 before you attempt these. But the first 10, you can easily knock out. Like this one, for example, is level 23. You may have already done this already, so I hesitated on um, mentioning it, but uh, I figured it was important. And then aside from that, I would recommend, this is kind of like a minute point, but I'm gonna mention it anyway, go out any waypoints that you still don't have. You, again, you can see I literally just hit 50. That's why I'm making this video. I figured it'd be kind of easy. Not easy, but it would be fitting. Uh, go out, get these waypoints that you are potentially missing. Uh, I have two and Sardoma Island is the third one I'm missing, but that's a whole different conversation. Oh, actually four, because I don't have Sanctum Desire either. So I would recommend you go out, get all your waypoints. It's just going to make your life in the long run a lot better. And then you may have already seen this from my other video, but I would recommend you start doing all your purchasing. Uh, start it early, even if you're not, you're like, what? Why am I going to use this right now? I'm not going to use this right now still start buying it as absolutely early as you can. Uh, I have a whole other video dedicated to this, so I'm not going to go into it now. But you have things to buy from the guild merchant, things to buy from the coin contract merchant, and things to buy from the sundries merchant. Um, I guess I can go over them real quick. These are your weekly, weekly buys. Buy those. Um, coin contract merchant, you want to be buying Mystic Keys, right. uh, Precious, the Vienta Village contract Blessing coin Pouch, uh, Enchanted Ink, Rare Parchment. Uh, if I'm you missing better. all, missing Just anything, I'm sorry. Uh, there is a video I have. It's called An Easy Strong and Simple Guide to uh, Level 50 Dailies. Go watch that. That has this in more depth. Anyone and then I would the also recommend you buy the machine. base materials, the polished crystals, and trade conversion stones. Um, as well, you should be Take buying, care. I just missed it, I apologize, uh, hey, trade extraction right. stones. Which is the contract contract here, you the here, trade of extraction contract stones as well. More expensive than gold See, uh, I meant to talk ocean. about this under the kind of weapons and armor section, but I didn't, so I'm going to do it here. You should grab one of these uh, special weapons chests. Assuming you joined a guild early on, you'll be able to have access to this right away. Um, so from your purchases, grab this from the guild merchant. Uh, that's a... I use this for golem chiseling daggers. You could do for the greatsword, whatever you need. Uh, you're probably going to get a weapon along the way. That's fine from the story. And then you'll probably need one more to get yourself up to where you need to be. Anything so you can get it from here. The Rare else Weapon the Special Selection Chest. Uh, the other option Take that care. I would recommend at a lesser level you is there. to get Are it you? from Just let me know if it's contract you're after. Contract coins, right? the coin contract merchant. The reason why is you're probably not going to have a lot of contract coins up to this point. Um, and also when you start trading, it's going to be much more expensive to trade these as opposed to trading a blue weapon, but that is also an option. Um, See you another time. And I think that's about it. I think that's everything that I wanted to go over. Just, um, just some things that you kind of want to start doing um, early on once you get to uh, level 50 because you start into endgame and there's really no guidance or hand-holding. This is not an exhaustive list. Uh, I hopefully will remind you. Um, it is not an exhaustive list. There is so much to do in this game at endgame. But in order to just kind of like a kind of like a basic entry level beginner's guide to being level 50, those are the first things off rip that you uh, you kind of want to do. So 
thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, I greatly appreciate it. Um, subscribing on YouTube is free and it helps me a ton. And following on Twitch for, at the link in the description is also free and it also helps me a ton. So I would greatly appreciate either of those things. If not, obviously, no worries. Um, I try and stream Monday to Friday-ish. Uh, I could be live right now, depending on when you're watching this video. So maybe um, come check it out, come chat, say hi. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for me. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on what time it is for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.